As you already know, Light Tracer is all about giving you the tools to showcase your products in the coolest way possible. We've chatted about custom camera paths before, but today we're diving into how to pull off some really neat physics animations. Check out this chain, for example. Each link here is a rigid object that's connected to the ones next to it. Let's walk through how you can set something like this up in Light Tracer. We'll begin by importing the necklace model, generously provided by our user, Paul. Initially, we must ensure that each chain link is a separate, independent object. In our scenario, this isn't the case, but the chain can be manually split into individual connected meshes. Once every link is its own object, we've got to figure out what role each one plays. Let's try this out with a few links to nail down the best settings for physics bodies. We'll switch their role to dynamic. If we kick off the physics simulation with everything as is, it'll create collision detection shells around our links. But you'll notice these shells are actually convex hulls without any holes inside. Because of this, our simulation gets a bit wonky and the links don't connect like they should. The trick here is to up the accuracy of how these shells are made. That's what the shape accuracy setting is for. We crank that up, give the simulation another whirl, and voila, we've got holes in the shells and the links behave like they're actually connected. Now, we can do the same for all the other links except the end ones, and also for the decorative key on the chain. Make sure to group all the dynamic parts in the scene explorer to make the animation recording easier. And just like that, our chain is alive. Simply by dragging the key, you'll see it interact with the chain, making the entire thing move in accordance with the laws of physics. For an extra touch of realism, we've added some gravity. Now, if we move up the key and let it go, it starts swinging on the chain. After we get the key's starting position sorted, we can record the simulation into an animation take with the record button. Before recording the video, let's set up the white backplate and add a glossy catching surface. You'll see we've got a new take that can be added as a new track to the video timeline. If you're feeling adventurous, you can toss in a camera animation too. Check out another tutorial for how to do that. When you're all set, click the render video button to get your final video. You're now equipped with the knowledge to create physical animations in Light Tracer Render. We're always working on making the animation tools even better. So you can bring any object in your scene to life. Keep an eye out for updates on the new features we're cooking up.